In what unusual way have you almost died? Almost booked a ticket on MH17 with my mum and brother, before my dad shut it down and said he's fed up with flying with Malaysian Airlines. So we flew with Emirates instead, wise decision. By inhaling a goldfish. The cracker, not the animal. Got pneumonia, hospitalized, the whole nine yards. I don't eat goldfish anymore. Got pushed off a dock by a bully and drowned in front of a lifeguard who was yelling at me to stop faking. I was 9 or 10 at the time and I couldn't swim. Town had a population of less than 800, only had one lifeguard, and I was at the beach 3-5 days a week because of family, so they knew. Brother ended up pulling me out and resuscitating me himself. Lifeguard pretended she didn't notice. I was digging a hole at 12-14 years old. BC I could, kid stuff. I only remember waking up and it was dark. I had apparently hit an underground electric line. No one knew. I was there for hours. I got up, went inside and ate dinner. This was in the early 80s. I pissed my pants. And felt weird for a day or two. Never told my parents. Thought they'd be mad. When I was a baby my older sister had me by the ankles at the top of the stairs, encouraging me to try and crawl down the stairs head first, because she wanted to be an only child again. I almost got crushed in a pin setter when I was working on the pin table bowling lane. I was lazy and didn't loto because as the manager I didn't think anyone would turn it on but me. I was wrong and it was a mistake I only made one. My stomach veins exploded. It was like something out of a movie the blood pouring out of my mouth. Don't recommend. Still traumatized. I came 50 feet away from getting struck by lightning in April 2015, in Auschwitz. I was there with my dad and we hopped off the main tracks about 15 seconds before lightning hit them in front of us. We always joked darkly that we'd have been the last Jews to die in Auschwitz if we hadn't moved. Took a line drive to my temple as a baseball pitcher when I was 14, gave me shattered skull and some nice internal bleeding. Apparently if it struck more half an inch in either direction it likely would have killed me. Luckily burr holes work. Put my hand on a naked power supply, couldn't let go stuck there for what seemed 15 minutes in my head. It was more like 30 seconds. Was assisting at a target practice in the military when a trainee misfired and got saved by my Kevlar helmet, the force of impact pushed my head backwards and fell into the ground with so much force that I got a concussion. Next thing I know, the drill instructors are tearing that trainee a new one while I'm looking at a beautiful blue sky hearing shouting far away. Luckily I got hit by a 9mm to the helmet and not a 7.62mm from our standard combat rifle. Suicide by self-induced faintings. I didn't want my family to feel bad, it had to look like an accident, so I tried several times self-inducing fainting at the top of stairs with the hope of falling all the way down. About five tries later I decided what I was doing was fucked up and needed a psychiatrist. I almost died at a Denny's when I was eight choking on a moss stick that no one could get out until a doctor came to help me not super unusual, but what a dumb way to have a brush with death. My blood doesn't like to remain liquid. I woke up during the night choking on my own acid reflux. I could not breathe anymore and I felt like I was not gonna make it. When I was a kid, I accidentally almost choked myself by having my head sticking out of the car window and my hand accidentally hit the button where the window rolled up. A friend of mine got an electric shock while working on a roof. He fell with his chest onto his screwdriver and fell off the roof two three stories high breaking his jaw, whilst still being shocked. He was home the next day fixing his roof crazy dude. Abscess tooth. Infection travelled up my face and started under my eye, was going to my brain. Hospital for a week and needed surgery. During this hospital stay, not only was a possible brain infection trying to kill me, the doctors overdosed me on morphine and also gave me an antibiotic I was allergic to, not once, but twice. 
My mom tore that place apart. When I was five I was playing with a girl and she somehow convinced me to put my head underwater. She then held my head down and I probably would have died if my parents hadn't come over and stopped it. Sitting in one of the baby spring seats in a park and my friend pulls it back and my head is basically on the floor, they let go of the seat and I go flying into the air and land directly on my head and my neck basically shaped to the side. After that I just got up and sat on the swings that were in the park like nothing happened to me. I went skinny dipping in a lake at night with a group of people while extremely drunk. I suddenly got out of the water and immediately passed out. If I hadn't gotten out at that moment I probably would have drowned before anyone would have noticed since it was pitch black outside. When I was about 7 or 8 years old, I snuck two mini muffins and my mom walked in so I stuffed them both in my mouth and tried to swallow them whole. I was sitting in a chair on my deck on my 35th birthday just a few weeks ago. Hanging out around a fire with our neighbors after a cookout. Our deck has a towering, full-growth oak tree overhead. About 30 minutes after sitting down a 25 branch falls from 60 in the air and lands squarely on my shoulder. Oddly enough it broke my radial bone near my wrist. Yo, this tree branch scraped my neck when it hit, that's how close it was to ending me. Luckily a clean break of the radial and that was it. Cast comes off in a week. I fell down from the roof of a two-story house when I was 13. Had a metal pipe in my hand that got stuck in the ladder and that slowed down the fall. Multiple fractures on the right shoulder and collarbone, fissured hip. Mom almost eated me when I was a baby BC it was late at night and I guess she was sleep deprived because when she picked me up she thought I was a baby grey alien and freaked out. I fell out of the top bunk while sleeping one night when I was in fifth grade. Compound fracture in my right wrist from trying to catch myself. Bone snapped and came through the skin of my arm. Doctor said that if the bone had come through the skin a few millimeters the other direction then it could have severed an artery and there would have been a high chance of me bleeding out. Almost fell off of antenna towers many times while working, did it for 10 years and could not tell you how many close calls I have had. Oh, and I have almost killed a few people doing that job also. Building towers is a dangerous job and I'm glad I don't do it anymore. I had a GF who once tried to come after me with a pair of scissors while I was sitting by the window of IDK the ninth floor. Crazy bitch. Hyponatremia low sodium. If I didn't have family in the house to call the ambulance, I would have died. I couldn't function properly. I wouldn't have been able to call someone or get up to get help. It was like I was trapped in my mind, and my body wouldn't do what I told it. They had to carry me to the ambulance. Crossing a road in India before I realized that when drivers flash their lights in that it's not a polite way to signal that you can cross. I literally had to dive out of the way. Lesson learned. I was in Barcelona and got on the metro. I briefly studied the map and abruptly realized I was on a train going the wrong direction. The doors were closing but I basically jumped out and for a moment, my backpack caught in the doors. Not sure how almost it was but I thought I've read about that killing people before. I was riding in the passenger seat of my friend's car. I topple a drink of coke at the exact same time she hit a small pothole and I hiccuped. The intake of acidic soda into my lungs from the hiccup along with the jostling from the pothole, I nearly drowned on soda. It hurt so bad as I coughed for a solid 2-3 minutes. At the time I kept thinking this is how I'm going to die. I'm literally drowning in soda. I couldn't breathe right for the next 2 hours. My parents once brought me to another region for a vacation, and there was this aquapark with a slide that crossed the road. It was like 20 meters up in the air. I went on it on full speed and I almost fell.